Hey, I have a face and I'm around. Um, and oh. Um. Well, this is awkward. I'm Cheshire from Cheshire Plays Games, and I thought I would pop on and play some Pokemon PTCGO. Uh, that was the thought. And maybe the servers are down. Which is weird, because I, I didn't hear anything about the servers being down. Um, and now it's frozen up. Ah! No, it's back! Yay! Look at that! It's back! Okay, cool. Um, for some reason... Stop that Twitch. Twitch is playing an ad. Um, it's been a long working week. Uh, but I am here now. And now I can check my angles to see what's going on. No, 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 Batman, Pikachu. If you're wondering why I am wearing a onesie, it's because we live in Melbourne, Australia. And it is cold. And uh, it's on theme, right? There we go. It's totally on theme. So, whatever. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, first things first of all, this is loading because it's taking quite some time. Um, Shoutouts to everyone who made it possible for me to reach 400 followers on Twitter today. Uh, that was super nice. Thank you, uh, Jem, and all of my other friends for pitching in. Uh, at the moment, we are up to 94 followers here on the Twitches. Um, so that's good. We're doing awesome. Um, I have put in for grassroots. I'm already affiliated, so cheer me with bits. Just just do it. Uh, 100 bits will, is is... Real nice and stuff, uh, and I'm probably actually should be wearing my headset so I can hear uh, any little events that happen. Because again, I'm not running with a dual screen; I'm only running with a single screen uh, because it seems that my graphics card is kafucked. So <laughs> that's great. No, it's it's quite new. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. For those of you who might not have played Pokemon, the trading card game online before, uh, there's a couple of, th of things that you can do. Uh, the first thing is that when you play matches, you get Pokemon Gold or points. Uh, you can use those to buy booster packs, uh, theme decks. Uh, it's pretty much everything that Magic Online should be. Quite frankly, you get little code cards inside a booster pack that you can redeem. I'm not kidding, to get a digital booster pack. Like, that in itself is just it's fantastic marketing. Like, let's, let's face it. Um, coffee. Ah, you can also redeem those points for um, special sleeves and stuff. So let's go and have a look at the store. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to assume that most of the people uh, that are around may not have seen this before and also on the playback for big bad kaiju because jamie is awesome okay so here is the store uh you can get these special booster packs with promo card which is pretty cool uh newest set you can buy booster packs again with your poker points uh you've got these sleeve deck box and promo card combinations more promo cards, more booster packs um, from a lot of the different expansions. You can buy these starter decks. Um, they, they're not always that terrible. I mean, they're genuinely pretty terrible, but I mean, if you buy one for your kid and then just go from there, um, and when I say buy, I, it's not physical, like cash money, cash money, unless you actually buy the starter deck for realsies and use the code from the starter deck to open it in Pokemon Online. However, when you download the client, you'll actually get decks to play anyway. So that's a big thing. Gameplay, obviously, is your sleeves and stuff. Um, ooh, we've got enough points. Uh, I, I want me some Squirtles. It's a Squirtle box, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I don't, I don't think I have any. I don't know if there was a way to confirm it other than going out of the screen. Collection. C 
cool. So here you can see the different sleeves that I've uh, unlocked either via buying them with poke points, which again you get for just battling people for winning um, in the random roulette and stuff as well. Uh, completing different challenges and stuff. Cycling through. Uh, elite trainer box, of course. You get the trainer box and the, uh, the sleeves. Damn it, we already had Squirtle sleeves? When did that happen? Hey, we've, we've got one of all of them. And now we've got two. Ah, uh, that's really awkward. I did not know that. Well, that's fine. Uh, and you, of course you get the coins from the different expansions as well. Um, that's part of the promo packs. Part of you buying uh, starters and stuff as well. And then you have the trainer challenge. So if you're a new player, you can go into the trainer challenge and earn boosters and stuff by beating these trainers. Um, you can also unlock cards for your specific starter decks and stuff as well. Um, I really highly, really highly recommend doing that. Uh, you've got, of course, the tutorials. We won't go through that at all. Uh, you have a versus ladder. Versus ladder, you can get, like, you know, as you can see, some trainers and stuff that you might need for your deck. Sometimes it's going to have Pokemon you might not have. Um, booster packs. EX cards, uh, I think in the future we'll probably obviously see some GX cards. You can also get full art trainers and stuff from this as well if you go all the way to 3 star, which I I usually do. Um, I've been a bit slack this month or for the last couple of months because I've been doing so much um, uh, different stuff when it comes to MTG. Now events, you would have seen those little tickets right here. They're used for events. So you can use your Poké Points as well. Uh, but you can enter into events using those tickets for more online booster packs. So let's do that. Let's enter ourselves in and see what happens. Uh, I will be playing a Plasma deck, which is one of my favorite decks of all time. So that should be pretty damn cool. So once it gets to eight players, it will fire meaning that it will, um, there will be enough people to play the actual tournament itself. Uh, one sec, let's jump in. Because we should social medias. Because I hear that that's, that's a good thing to do. That's what all the cool kids are doing. Pokemons. There we go. Cool. Ah, uh, seven or eight. One more person, and then we are ready to rock. Uh, pick one. Just quickly shout out to all my my, my peeps. All right, let's get into it. Should be good. So the deck that I'm playing is an expanded. So expanded is if you play Magic, it's the term of modern, um, which isn't really played that often anymore uh, in Australia, at least. Uh, it is sometimes, but not really much. I think probably more over in the US. But the deck that I'm playing 
is not borderline broken, but just extremely powerful. Thunderous. Uh, Deoxys. So the idea of this deck is uh, Plasma. So Deoxys powers up all of our other Plasma Pokemon by plus 10 damage. Um, so our Thunderous, our... Um, damn, what is the other one called? It's the blue one. I'm smart. It'll come back to me. Uh, but basically, it just pumps, 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 and then it just smashes. Um, the idea is really fast damage, unavoidable, really good. Just, yeah, it's a really good deck. Alright, so our opponent's going to energy evolution. This should be interesting. Oh, nothing. Okay. Guess that makes the outro pretty clear. Uh, so the first thing is Frozen City. So whenever they place an energy on one of their Pokemon, they're going to be taking 20 damage. Where's it 10 damage? Uh, no, no, 2 damage counters. 20 damage, yep. Yeah. Uh, attach an energy to Thunderous. We're going to use Team Plasma Ball. Ah, uh, there it is. Kyrum. Uh, we're going to grab a Deoxys. So now we can do enough damage to knock out a uh, single Eevee fairly easily. Uh, we will use Bicycle to draw some extra cards. Juniper. Now, you're probably wondering why with an energy in my hand. Well, that's because Thunderous' attack will actually get that energy out of the discard pile and actually put it on one of my Pokemon on the bench. So we'll go and grab Kyrim. Chuck Kyrim down. And then Raiden right Knuckle. Boom! There we go. So, first prize. If you haven't played Pokemon before, there are six prizes. You have to take all six to win the game, or deck your opponent out, or knock out all of their Pokemon. So that's pretty much it. Alright, so, opponent energy evolutions again. What are they going to get this time? You have a good deck. Well, thank you. Umbrian GX. All right, hmm. That should be fine. We'll just continue to power up our Kyrum. Kyrum. Arr. Can I last enter something up? Sure. Means I can switch. Uh, okay, so. I think we will. Is that the right move? I hope so. Putting the band on the uh, the Thunderous. Putting energy here under the Kyrim. Uh, now there's two things we can do here. We could play a bench of Pokemon or we can just discard a hand. And draw seven. Which is a much better option. Bam. Alright, cool. Team Plasma Ball. Because ideally what we want to do is stop our opponent from really being able to take advantage of us in any way and hurt us. Um, so the best way to do that is to amp up our damage as fast as we can. There we go. So, when we hit, that Umbreon is dead. Dead, dead, dead. That's cool. You can megaphone everything. Hey, there's that extra 20 damage. <sighs> okay. The other thing makes things a bit easier because it is weak to electricity. What's this attack do? Dark Horde. Discard two energy cards from your opponent's Pokemon. Oh no! Whatever am I going to do? Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, cool. Uh, now if I raid a knuckle here, 70. So 40, 50, 60, 70. Yep, cool. We will knock out our opponent's Pokemon. Uh, I think we want to get just a regular energy and chuck it on Kyrum. Get two prizes. Oh, regular energy, I guess, isn't the right turn. A special energy, which is blend. So that's a thing as well. Just 
Pokemon to become your active Pokemon. Uh, well, our opponent can't really do much against it, so let's choose our Chirum. Uh, I am quickly going to... Oh. Just tweeting at Darium's Pokemon. <laughs> uh, okay, so here we do 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 180. So drop that on. Drop an energy. So Blizzard Burn does 120. Uh, then there's an extra 40 from all of our Deoxys, plus the extra 20 from our Muscle Band. So plenty enough to knock our opponent out. And proceed to the next round. Just smashing it. And I hope you can hear me. Yo, yo, Des, what's up? It's funny because I should have heard Des coming into the chat. But it seems like maybe my notifications aren't working that well. Which is fine. Which is fine. More coffee. Mm. <laughs> weird. I'm having a weird night. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so other things that we should probably discuss whilst we're here, uh, and I'm just going to minimize some stuff. Uh, so the first one to note here is that when you're in, you've got your collection. So this is where all your booster packs and all of your cards go. So you can sort by trainers, energies, your packs, uh, which is fantastic. Let's open a Sun and Moon just for fun of it, shall we? This is what it looks like to open a booster pack. Maybe we'll get something good. Probably get something trashy. What? Bah! Mask are in. Ugh, two cannon. Alright, pretty bad pack, really. Uh, if the pack is locked, like this one here, um, trade locked means that uh, you've probably won it from the combo wheel or something like that. You can't actually trade it to anyone. It's trade locked. Makes sense. So let's bust it open because we can't trade it, we may as well use it. Ooh, foil. For a strong energy, can't say no to that. Could be great for a deck. Excuse me. Other things you can do trade! So here you can get avatar stuff and clothing and stuff for your avatar. Uh, gameplay, what we were looking at before, like the card sleeves and deck boxes and whatnot. Booster packs, and you can trade for specific cards. Um, booster packs. I'm getting uh, standard. Um, let's go with Guardians Rising. What? Why would I give two for that? Generally speaking, PTCGO trading is 
is not always the best. That's pretty good, actually. I think we'll take this one. Um, so we've got five Guardians, two Sun and Moon, one Steam Siege that we don't need, Fates Collide we don't need, uh, but what we do want is Guardians Rising, because I actually haven't bought any yet. Yes, she is the kitten boss of you. <laughs> Princess. Alright, so... We now have some Guardians booster packs. Um, we had to trade a secret rare for it, but it's a secret rare that... It's in the set as a normal card anyway. Um, sometimes you might want to keep your secret rares, depending on what they are. So Versus Seeker, for example... Um, is still a premium card. You probably want to keep that just because it's bling, yo. You don't have to. I mean, I don't even need to keep mine. I could just get rid of it, but I don't really want to. The other thing you can do is deck manager. So when you eventually go and build your decks, that's what you can do from the deck manager. So you've got legacy, you've got expanded, standard, theme. Yep. So all your theme decks go here. Uh, and then... All of your decks together. Which I don't understand why there's an all option. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but it's a really easy way for you to keep uh, track of where all your decks are. As you can see how well this is um, set out compared to Magic the Gathering Online. This is just so much prettier in its, in its everything. <laughs> uh, in the whole display. The way that it's, the information is set out. How easy the information is to see tournament structure, all that sort of stuff is just surprisingly amazing from a free-to-play Pokemon trading card game. Should MTG move in this direction, you are not going to hear any complaints from me. I will be very happy to see it move in this direction. Um, MTGO should already be going in this direction. I mean, look, if you can do Magic Jewels, uh, which looks fairly good, um, fairly exceptional, then I don't see why you couldn't do that and implement that into MTGO. Just, I don't know. It's obviously some reason. Um, maybe it's about the cache and stuff and how many images it can hold. Oh, there's a new little hour. Wings of the moon. Scatter shot. Ooh, pretty. It's full art, I take it. Alolan Nine Tails, Ice Blade, 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, uh, Blizzard Edge, discard two energy from this Pokemon, and Ice Path GX, move all damage counters from this Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. Now GX is only used like one per game, and then it's gone. So uh, I think they were talking about there was something they were going to make so that you could use GX more than once but they never did it, probably because it'd just be way too overpowered uh... really Daz? really? no! Clefable wait, is that... why is that Machop dabbing? terrible, Oh, hello! So this is a, what they call a Rainbow Rare or Hyper Rare. Um, Vikavolt GX240 HP Electric Pokemon. Touch energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. I should probably take a picture of this. Uh, discard 2 energy from this Pokemon for 180 for Super Zap Cannon for energy, which is really harsh. Uh, Gigatron GX is attacked does 60 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance. Damn, that's um, that's a, that's a pretty cute attack. Uh, all right, so let's do the thing with the Instagram, so that we can tell people that we are live. There we go.
cool. Uh, open another, open another. All about the Eevees. It is all about the Eevees. Because the Eevees are the cutest Pokemon ever. Foil Turtonator. Tar -tar 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 Fire Turtle. And Shitty Rayquaza. Uh, do you want to open a Magic Booster pack while we're here? This is great. I had spares laying around. Ooh, Rescue Stretch. What's that? Put a Pokemon from your discard pile in your hand, or shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Hey, that's pretty good. Tentacruel. Ha 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 ha. Okay, yeah, cool. Does paralyze these stuff, that's pretty cool. A Shazzle. Oh, Salazzle. Salazzle. I was gonna say, Shazzle sounds like something you do in your pants. Um, hot Poison. When you play this Pokemon from your hand or evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. Yeah, that's pretty lame. Oh, uh, we're out of boost packs, that was it. Let's get back to that event and see how we're doing. Hey, Mythic! Oh, Ketra! Ketra the True! One white, three colorless, legendary creature god, double strike, indestructible! Because I needed to crack more Ketras, considering that I already have like five of them. Well, actually, technically, three, a foil, and a pre release one. Because such is my luck. It's not like a foil Eevee. Uh, a foil Eevee. <laughs> not like a foil Gideon. Is it does? Uh, let's open another. We have one spare boost pack left after this. Despite the ones that I've got tucked away over there and the prize ones I've got down there. And it is Cascading Cataracts. Oh, that's a dollar fifty at least. Yeah. I think the full art swamp we got in the boost pack is probably worth more. That's really sad. Great for an EDH card though. But we already got so many out of the box, it's not funny. So that is fine. Um, okay, so while we're still waiting... It does for some reason still say that, but it's not. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, not on Twitch, it doesn't. Somebody's just remarked that my Twitch is coming up for some reason saying that um, it is still saying MTG. Um, it is because Facebook is shite. Uh, which is really annoying. Mm -mm -mm. Why is it still coming up with Cheshire players? It should be coming up with Cheshire players games. Okay, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Restart that. How are we looking? We're still waiting. Four minutes left in the round. Reload, yes. Alright, great. Let's try that again. Twitch.tv forward slash 
Cheshire plays games. Okay, post made in the Twitch streamers group. We're all good now. I swear. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Uh, okay. Well, while we're waiting, let's see if we can't. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, go and trade away what we just cracked open to see if we can get uh, many more guardians boosters. Hmm. Coffee has gone cold already. It hasn't even been that long, has it? Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, heads, I guess? I keep going to put my hand on Wazd. Once an FPS player? Always an FPS player. Alright, this is a bit more of a tricky hand. Um, so we could go to Yoxus out the front, um, pair it up first turn. But I think we're going to go with Kyrum, just as just in case. Um, our opponent's going to be going first. So it should be fine for us to do it this way. Um, so Chorus allows us. Oh, should have gone to Yoxus up. That would have been hilarious. Um, Chorus Machine allows us to power up real easy, because it goes and gets a Plasma Energy from our deck, puts it directly onto one of our Plasma Pokemon, which is why we only play post Plasma Pokemon in this deck. Um, so that's one of the things to remember. Uh, the other one is... Bots have commands. Um, great... Info point double time one second. I've not tried double time. Oof, that's a lot of points requirement. So our opponents playing the deck that we hate the most. So that's fine. So if you're wondering what we're playing against, this is the what they basically is called the Scourge deck. Uh, so it's night. Uh, West. It's a night march deck. So it runs on getting as many night march creatures into the discard pile as possible. Um, and then if you have a look here, attack does 20 more 20 damage times the number of Pokemon with night march. Blah 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 blah. Um, that's why they called it the Scourge because the deck was always horrible to play against. Um, everyone hated it, except for the people who actually played with it. And it's still fairly powerful, uh, less powerful than it was, uh, but still pretty powerful. So I don't know if we will win this or not. Uh, I'm certainly going to try. Ugh, that's not a good start, that's for sure. Um, we're going to go and probably bust out... Thunderous, I guess. Um, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, there'd be no way that we'd be able to bust it up. Uh, none left. Whoops. Oh, it's got me all off kilter now. Uh, so we're going to be taking max damage from this Mew, unfortunately. Um, but we're just going to kill Joltik. Basically giving our opponent a free... Uh, a free night march into the graveyard. Hopefully, uh, we can do something about getting rid of that whole box and dice. Hey, 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 welcome in, much love. Hang out, sit down, watch me play some Pokedemons. Just playing a three round tournament at the moment. Show.
real good, real good. And then I don't know what we're going to be playing. Um, I kind of wanted to be playing um, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Oh, Jay. Oh. Yo, yo, Vascoon. Welcome into the chat. Much love, my friend. As you can see, I've been smashing the followers. Up to 94 followers. So, hoping to, to get all the good stuff happening. And I went for the, um, the ANZ grassroots as well. So... Don't know if I'll be able to make it, to be honest, because there are better streamers out there than me, uh, which is fine, but I'm going to try my best, that's for sure. So here we go, Night March. Whew. That, that was a lot of pain. A lot of pain. Uh, 30, 40. It's not going to be enough. I don't have a choice. Just have to hope here that I draw something really... But yeah, that's not really what I was... No. Uh, okay, so put a blend on here. We'll go and use the Shadow Triad to get a plasma card. Um, I feel like Frozen City could potentially be the best, but we're going to go and grab Kyrim. Because if we can get Kyrim back online again, um, that's a lot better. I mean, I wish right now that we could do the extra damage we need to do to the Smew to get it out of the way. That's not going to happen. So, it's time to improvise. Uh, we have a rainbow in hand, so we want to take... Damn. Yeah, no, that's fine. Put that on the Chiron. It's a horrible deck, then. Uh, no. Um, Battlegrounds looks amazing. I, I really, really, really want to uh, play it. But I also need to buy it first. Uh, and I was going to do that tonight, but... Yeah. Money didn't clear in time. Always the way. But you know what we should do? We should... If I can get a copy, then we should play together. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We should cross those streams. Absolutely. Um, because it looks hilarious with multiple... Just absolutely hilarious. Ha ha ha, playing it while a video renders. Ha oh, ha ha. Dez is gambling all his points away with the exclamation point gamble number. Whoa, what did I click on? That's not. No, go away. That was real weird. Oh, damn, that was. That's a lot of pain. Uh, Kyrim, I guess. Here is going to be my best choice. Oh, we are drawing not so great against this deck. Uh, but that's fine, because Chiron goes and gets rid of the other Joltic. Hopefully our opponent didn't draw another Night Marcher. Um, otherwise, that other Mew is going to be a pain in the butt. Cool, that's, that's actually not bad, although I wish we had a drawn something we could ditch our hand with. Oh, I shuffle it in, considering we've still got Plasma Energy. Really worried about this Taurus. What I really need to do is just find a way to just kill this Shaman. Ah, 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 ah. Nah, nah. What was I saying? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have enough points. Damn, I'm sure there was a way for me to give points to people. Um, let's see. No. I have to figure that one out. I thought there was, but apparently I'm wrong. That's fine. 
Ugh, Night March. What a deck. So essentially all I really need to do is try and find a way to get Shaman up and Blizzard burn it. Um, but my opponent's going to knock out my Chiron. I'm going to be left with uh, Deoxys out front and no way to retreat it, no way to power it up to full, and I'm just going to die. I'm just going to fall over and die. Uh, which is the problem against Night March because in, in Expanded there is a number of decks that you can look out for, little bits of tech you can use, but all in all, Night March is one of the most deadly decks, no matter what the format is. Um, and it's still real good. Alright. <sighs> Hopefully we'll draw a switch or something, maybe? Uh, yeah, okay. That's It's better than nothing, at least. Uh, scramble switch. The problem is that our opponent still has this pump double, uh, which basically just says, I'm going to kill you no matter what you do. Because uh, he's going to be able to do 200 damage straight up to my Thundaris. So, we came close, but unfortunately, we could just not take that uh, that last one. Check on a random Eoxus. You know I'm live, Jay. Like, <laughs> at least he's not sending me dick pics. Well played. Uh, you would hope that this is what MTG is looking to do because look at how amazing this looks compared to MTGO. Like, <laughs> it's just it can't be that hard to do something like this. That's it. We got knocked out. Second round. That's that's really sad. Um, that's the first time I've lost that quickly in a tournament. And all because of Night March. Uh, I haven't really tweaked anything with uh, standard decks. Um, so let's just go with... I don't know what this deck is. So let's go with this one. I've been a whole heap of decks at one point. Um, that I was playing with, but I don't actually remember what any of those decks were. Especially this one here, Sol Galeo. I think this was just pairing up Sol Galeo and using it to just one-shot Pokemon after Pokemon, but again, I don't really know what this deck is. I don't know what it does. I don't even remember what Sol Galeo's power was. It's how long it's been since I've played because of the whole magic thing. Uh, what I should do is go to the MTG Oz stream account and retweet that shit. Yo. Huh? What? Sure. Uh, so if you're wondering, I am part of MTG Oz stream as you can see down below. Uh, would you like to take a mulligan? No, because we have a Talon Flame. Uh, MTGL stream is a bunch of content creators who have come together, not doing just Magic the Gathering, but other things as well. Uh, and they're all Aussie-based to help support each other, because we're all awesome. So do go and support the other creators in that group. You can see <laughs> Bloody Pen Night March already. Uh, yeah, they're not going to do that because it's not as much of a scourge as it used to be. Um, but in saying that, praying for a win anyway, a bit late there, Des. Um, yes, MTGL stream. Go and follow MP Numbers, uh, and Silisari, uh, and of course the whole box and dice. Uh, with the whole box and dice, he doesn't do a lot of streaming, but he sure does do some 
amazing work on YouTube. Um, and at the moment, the latest deck tech he's got up, which is a land destruction deck for Magic the Gathering, is at like 156 views. So, smashing it. So, Defs, go and check that out. We don't have any events coming up at the moment. Um, there, there's possibly not going to be a Command of the Gathering for the next two months, depending. Uh, Brad is, this month, I believe, going to Malasha, um, to see the girls from the USSR. It's a bad Beatles reference. Uh, but yeah, so he's going to Russia, which means probably not going to have Command of the Gathering. Um, and then after that, he is going over to America, and he will be doing um, some work over there for uh, E3. So they are two things to very much bear in mind. What does that mean otherwise? Uh, we haven't figured it out yet. Uh, let's grab you. So this very much just looks like I was trying to power Sol Air. So what are we going to grab? Uh, a Soul Galeo and an Enhanced Hammer, I guess. I'm sure it's supposed to be a Rare Candy and a Soul Galeo. Mm, I guess? Ah, that's fine, whatever. Probably should have just like grabbed something else, but we'll figure it out as we get there. Uh, yeah, pretty exciting times for Brad. Um, that's what happens when you're a, quite a well-known, partnered streamer, I guess. Um, maybe he'll bring us back some snow globes. I, I don't think he will. But it's funny, damn it. Okay, so, it's going to be really awkward, because Sog is not going to work now, and we just picked up Rare Candy. Um, I'm going to have to seek them all. I don't have a choice. Uh, I guess I did have the choice, actually, but this makes more sense. Uh, we will chuck down a Gina Sect. Uh, we'll go searching for our Cosmog. Uh, I think we will Ultra Ball. Okay, so we'll Ultra Ball. Um, as you might be noticing if you're a Magic player, most of these decks feel very much like uh, different style combo decks, because that's technically what they are. Um, the whole game is basically based around searching for the pieces of the puzzle and then stopping your opponent's pieces of the puzzle, basically. It's a whole thing. Uh, so we'll grab you and a rare candy. So, rare candy, choose one of your basic Pokemon in play. Uh, if you have a stage 2 card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card on the basic Pokemon, it counts as evolving. Stage 2, Soul Galeo. So, once during my turn, before I attack, I can switch one of my active Pokemon with one of my bench Pokemon. Um, Sun Seal Strike, 230 damage for 3 energy pretty good, but you have to discard all the energy attached. Uh, and then for one energy, you can Soul Burst, which is searching your deck for up to five energy cards, and then attaching them to your Pokemon any way you like. Um, it is an attack though, so it does leave you vulnerable, but it can be fun. Okay, so our opponent's got N, which just gets rid of our entire setup hand. Ah, Should have seen that coming, right? Ah, that's not so bad. At least we got one rare candy in the Sol Galeo. I always want to say Canyonero for some reason. It's stupid. Escape rope. Um, sure. We're weak to grass? No? Okay, good. That was the other older Genesect, wasn't it? Whew. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to make sure that this is the one uh, that we evolve. That's when we can go and get stuff back. Hoi Horn GX, put three cards from your discard pile into your hand. Oh, okay, sure. Oh, yeah. Probably gonna be double colorless. Lysander. No? Oh, well, I guess you don't need a. When you go versus sick, you don't need to get the Lysander back. Um, okay, so let's go Metal Energy onto this Cosmog. And then we'll evolve the Cosmog into our Soul Galeo. Again, just want to say Canyon Arrow. I know that's bad. Ugh. Here's a Pokeball. Go and get this Cos. What's the middle one called? Cosmone. Evolve. Use my power of Ultra Road. Okay. And then we're going to Soul Burst. So one, two, three, four, five. One here. One on to Genesect, 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 and the other Cosmoom. So Genesect's attack does 100 damage, um, but you can discard as many Metal Energy attached to it as you want, and it does 20 extra damage. So I should probably put more stuff in here to get Metal Energy back, but whatever. The stuff and the things, and it happens. Woot. To the woot. Uh, what are we going to play after this? We're almost at 9 o'clock. Maybe after this game we should take a short break for 5 minutes while I try and figure out what next to play. Maybe some more shooty bangs. Shooty bangs is always good. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch for Talonflame. If you can knock out Talonflame, all the better for you. If not, all the better for me. Let's do 140 damage to you. That's easily done with... With Genesect. Oh, what are you going to bring up? Probably Cosmo? No. Okay. To do me 210 damage. Uh, I'm able to GX attack us 30 damage for each damage counter on. It's a lot of damage actually. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. 8, 8, 16, that's uh, 220. Uh, enough to kill it. Oh, you didn't use an attack? Uh, okay. Oh. That's, yeah, that's not good. Um, Ultra Road for Genesect. Uh, how much do I need to hit you for? 140. So we do 100 damage, 120, 140. Knocked out the main attacker at least. Gets rid of that one. So how's everyone's night anyway? How is your day? How's your day? How's your night? How is stuff? Gonna just dude hit me up for some battlegrounds. No worries, Vice Coon. Have fun, man. And I will talk to you soon. N. Sure. Oh, our opponent's going to be able to start hitting us with the Razor Leafs. I think what we need to do... Huh. One health too much. Ten. Ten health. Cool, well if I'm still awake, I will pop into your stream. Of 
Vicecoon said that he'll be streaming later, so you should definitely go and follow Vicecoon as well. That is V Y S E K U N Vicecoon. Hotbox and Dice says playing some Hearthstone between deck brews. Don't blame you. Do not blame you at all. Um, ooh, okay. What are we going to do here? Um, <laughs> I was going to be able to knock out all my stuff. Uh, I don't think we have a choice here. Let's just... We don't care about the forest. I mean, we should care about the forest of giant plants, but we just don't. Um, Ultra Ball. Getting rid of, uh, I don't know, N and N, probably. Go and get another Soul Galeo. Uh, use our ability. I think we're going to switch for Talonflame this time, though. Uh, which is dangerous, because this this Soul Galeo is almost dead. Like, very, very stupidly close. But, we're going to Aero Blitz. And see what our deck has that we can use to our advantage. Um, Hex Maniac is amazing. We already have a Lily in our hand. Um, we are running out of cards. I, I don't know what I built this deck around other than Sogaleo's ability. Which seems like a pretty bad liability. Some Hearthstone, that's what we could play. We could play some Hearthstone. So I should probably go into my usual, whilst we're uh, in the middle of this game. And that is, if you're not following, please go and hit that following button. Absolutely. We want to get to 100 followers as soon as possible. Um, if you like Magic the Gathering stuff, please go and follow the whole box and dice on uh, the YouTubes. Uh, MP Numbers is another one you can follow as well. Again, Silasari. Uh, I don't think that Slasery actually does anything on YouTube. I haven't seen any of her stuff on YouTube. Uh, myself, Cheshire, plays games all around the place. Uh, if you want to talk to me, please go onto Twitter and follow Cheshire Plays on Twitter uh, because I always love talking to people. So do the thing and the stuff. Okay, so let's switch our Soul Galeo. Uh, then let's Hex Maniac to shut off everyone's powers. Then we're going to chuck an energy. Don't want to throw it on you. Don't want to throw it on you. Um, probably an asshole glare. And then... Schmeck. Go wacko for schmackos. Revitalizer. Yep. This is what makes Decidueye such a um uh, powerful deck. Because being able to do this with you know forest of giant plants, being able to like get to Decidueye as soon as possible, uh, and then using Decidueye to Slowly burn your opponents away. Pretty good. Again, we're not playing the most optimal deck here, apparently. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was thinking, Pika Pika. Right, right. That's, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, get the... Pikachu going? <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, okay. So you got two energy on you, so all we need is a third energy. 
Um, what do we want here? Well, I mean, we could use Hexmaniac to shut off our opponent's powers. Um, use our power to bring out our Talon Flame. Oh boy, uh, our last metal energy. So we need to make our, uh, our last kill real, really count. Um, so hopefully we can do that. And hopefully our opponent doesn't have another N. Because if they do, uh, kind of screwed. But we might be able to snap this, which would be great. Now again, if you're in the chat, just remember that you can go and hit um, exclamation point commands, and it will tell you the commands of the bot. So keep yourselves entertained if I'm boring you at any point, which hopefully I'm not. So this is Seeker. And what was I saying? Yeah. Alright, that's not so bad for us. Uh, draw cards until you have six. It's not going to be our first, so we don't need to worry about that. We've got 13 cards left in our deck. So. This is the gamble. What we're going to do is try and use level ball and... Okay, there's nothing in there. Cool. We've got one energy. We have a one in... Okay. I don't even know those odds. It's not going to work for me. But we want to draw that energy. And we did. Hallelujah! Praise the, sun. the, the, the lords of rock, I guess. Uh, okay, so for the win, pulled it out. Whew, I thought we were screwed. Yay! So as you can see here, we got poker points, one hundred random poker points, mind you. Uh, completed a part of the ladder, which means we get some free cards. Free cards! Oh, we are so close to finishing off this first tier. Hey, we're a big group member! Crix17! Welcome to the chat, you must be my good luck charm because I was for sure that I was not going to pull that, uh, that last metal energy when I needed it, I tell you what. Um... Oh, I have a Decidueye deck. Do I want to view what this deck is? No, let's just play it. Again, I built these when the last set came out. Um, I haven't bought any Guardians Rising yet, uh, which I usually do uh, subsidized through Guff because they are our sponsors. Um, but this time, I have not had the money or time to get out there because we did the whole like $900 Magic the Gathering thing because um, that, that, was, that was a good idea, wasn't it? Ugh. Booster packs are everywhere. Speaking of, we do have one last match at the Gathering Booster Pack. Um, I don't even remember how to play this Decidueye deck. Uh, we just saw it then on the opposite side of the table. Power up your Decidueyes as fast as possible. Ooh, we're against a probably Froki deck. The Greninja deck still exists. Um, because if so, that's what we're going to be up against. Quite likely. Except it runs Team Skull Grunt. Print it reels their hands to scout through energy cards from it. Sure. What was our rare? <laughs> Great draft rare? Sandworm Convergence. Uh, would you like to draw a card? Yes. And yes. Poison Barb. I played Poison Barb in this deck, really. 
starting to worry me now because I'm like, I don't remember this deck at all, and I probably built it when the set had just came out, literally. So, yeah. I press GX, already know what jump this one is. Choice Band. Uh, taxi Pokemon, this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active GX or active EX Pokemon. Yeah, okay, sure. I can't believe how good the client looks, blowing my mind. Dude, this client is amazing. Uh, this this is the best TCG client I have ever seen. Um, the old PTCG uh, TCG client was terrible, and they did some massive massive overhauls to make sure that it that it looked good, that it was running well, and they exceeded my expectations by a rather large margin. Uh, energies, energies sound good. Um, now from here. We're going to use this Ultra Ball and we're going to ditch the Pokemon Center Lady into the, into the bin and probably the Dartrix. What are we searching for? I have no idea. Uh, probably Orangutan. Oh, this was a budget Decidueye deck. Okay, sure. Poison Barb. For whatever reason I was playing it. Orangutan. Orangutans. Instruct. So we draw until we have three in hand. Again, part of the combo. Um, chuck. I'd be guessing Floatstone goes on the Orangutan, I think. Uh, we use the other one first before we end. Dig slightly deeper. Yeah, that's terrible. We'll end. Now, the horrible part about end is that our opponent's going to get new cards as well. Uh, which really sucks. Oof. It's talking about things that suck. Come on. No forest of giant plants. Ugh. What is the odds of that? Uh, no, we don't want to take that, do we? I want to take that. We can't. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. We can do this. We got this, yo. Uh, we will tackle. This is terrible. Alright, so our opponent's gonna start like smacking us down. Laying F the smacker down. Brain work with mouth, good blag. And attack during your next turn. Hmm. Okay, sure. What are what are our opponents gonna do here? Um, I feel like, yeah, I was going to say, I feel like this was some sort of Aqua Patch deck because that's what I was going, that's what was going through my mind like two nights ago when I saw Aqua Patch. I was like, oh, it reminds me of the old, um, the old Darkness decks with Darkrai and <sighs> its name, stupid little thing. Doesn't matter. It's basically almost like an infinite deck. Uh, it was really good. Uh, see our poison now, huh? Ah. Forest of Giant Plants. Dartrix. Decidueye. Versus Seeker to get back N. And N our hands away. Great. Uh, another Rowlet. Dartrix. Decidueye. Was I not playing any other plant Pokemon in this deck? This is bizarre. Uh, I am going to take the Ultra Ball here. Mainly because we know that there's still one more Forest of Giant Plants in the deck. So, discard both of the forests. And get ourselves... Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's fine. Instruct. 
Now uh, let's try. Yeah, great. We're gonna start powering up uh, as fast as we. Ah, it's only a basic Pokemon. Okay, fine. <laughs> Rangaroo, you're about to get all of the energy, my friend. That's really awkward. Especially if we don't draw it. Do. Yeah, okay. Uh, feather arrow. Put 20 on to this Lapras. 20 on to probably Manafi. And we've got no choice, we're just going to have to hollow hunt. Uh, Rowlet. Dartrix. Then. Probably another N. Was it Gamble three seven four? Oh, I lost all my points. Stupid bot. It hates me. It's rig. Okay, so let's have a look at what the maximum our opponent can do to us. 160, 70, 80, 90, 190. Can't kill us. Can paralyze us though, uh, which would be a problem. But our opponent just used Blizzard Burn at least. No, they used Ice Beam. Oh. Okay. Gonna draw yourself some cards, are you? No. <laughs> Can't be that lucky. There's the end. I'd probably end here as well. Otherwise you're just giving me a reason to like put extra free damage on the board. Oh, that's why I could double colour synergies. It's real easy to power those ones up. Gonna have to start playing Crushing Hammers again. Ugh. Okay, so that was a lot of damage. Um, there is nothing that's gonna save us from dying, so we might as well just chuck a double colors down. Um, we don't want to use Sycamore, that's a really bad idea. Uh, but drawing two cards isn't so bad, so if we Ultra Ball and we get rid of, say, Sycamore and N. Get ourselves roll it or roll it. Do we have no? Okay, so we can hold off on the revitalizer anyway. Uh, we use the professor. One, two, poison barb onto our decidui. So we have to do 150 damage. Uh, you can do 90, 110, 130. And then the poison barb hopefully will do the rest. Yeah, we'll see how this works out. Oh, weakness. I forgot about weakness. Dumbass Al. You're a dumbass. Well, guess we didn't need to do all that damage, huh? Uh, when you get a chance to move the Aegean. Uh, probably won't be able to verse you tonight, but we can certainly look at doing that uh, next Thursday. Your IGN? Wait. Oh, in-game name? Like username? Right. Uh, 180... Huh, this deck actually works a lot better than I thought it would. Um, except now, we're going to have to take time to power up this Decidueye, which is frustrating. Especially if we want to be doing actual damage. Hmm. Does it burn? Sure. Uh, 
Orangaroo, to the rescue! Okay, so, let's Rowl it. Revitalizer. Uh, we'll grab Dartrix and the Sejuai. Oh, we don't... I didn't realize we didn't have the, uh, the Forest of Giant Plants anymore. I am such an idiot today. Hmm. What do you do with the Drunken Sailor? Okay, so we'll arrow our opponent. Um, then I guess we'll just Psychic. We got 30 hit points left, but they'll be able to switch and heal, no doubt. Don't kill the monkey. Don't kill the monkey? Of course they're gonna kill the monkey. Why wouldn't you kill the monkey? Did you see how much this monkey had going for it? Um, okay, so what are we gonna do here? I think we just chuck a Rowlet out the front. DC on the Digis future Y. Uh, chuck another Decidui down. I feel like I'm gonna be the guy who does that. To try and save our own skin. Um, we don't need to use this. Um, but we're going to, just to grab another Sander back. Gonna draw a card with the Orangaru. Oh boy. Um... Okay, for the arrow to the back, we use another one. Let's see what our opponent can do. He just spanked the monkey. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. He just spanked the monkey. Now he's trying to spank the birdie. So, 50, I can only do 40. Oh! Oh! That's. Ah. Uh, that's harsh. Ah, oh, that's super harsh. That's not good for us. That's not good at all. Um. Our opponent has one prize left to take, so we might as well just put Decidueye front and center. I guess it doesn't matter what Pokemon we put out. Um, Drift has some TF6. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Uh, Revitalizer. Go okay, grab Relic. Oh, uh, really? Why well played? Uh, we're not we're not out of this game yet. Are we? Is there something I've missed? We've got another turn after this. Before we're completely dead. Um, feather arrow. Put that feather arrow through my heart. Sorry, 80s. I'm a bad human. And I don't even care. Number 20 there. And then we are done. Because we can use Olympia to retreat. Uh, which will also heal 30 damage from the Decidueye. So it's not that bad. But our opponent seems to think we're already dead. Somehow. Some way. Some reason. Don't know why. But that's fine. Ah, uh, because you're just going to lie send something out to kill him. Okay. Now I'm dead. That's fair enough. Okay, 
so I think that that is it for Pokemon for the time being. I am going to take a five minute break. Five minutes. Uh, and then I will be back with Hearthstone. We'll play some Hearthstone. It's been a while since we played some Hearthstone, so we'll do that. Um, that sounds like a good thing to do. So take five, go and have yourself a cup of coffee, go and relax, have a cigarette if you really feel so inclined. I've been cigarette free since uh, PAX last year, so uh, I think you should be too. Not preaching, just saying. Uh, so I'm going to go and I'm going to have a quick five minute break. And then we will be back with some Hearthstone. So see you in five.